Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Dottie with Ignite Cinemas, and today I'm going to be giving you a review video on a very essential and very awesome camera equipment trolley bag. Let's get it. So if you're a passionate filmmaker like myself, I assume you probably have tons of video equipment. And when you start mixing in clients and going to different job sites, carrying all that equipment can be quite overwhelming. It get tired, tired of carrying all that camera equipment to places. So in about March of 2020 this year, I was in the market looking for the best and easiest way to transport all my camera equipment. And I'm talking lights, light stands, gimbals, tripods, sliders. I wanted everything to be in one case that essentially, if it had wheels, that would be the bonus point. Now, keep in mind, I ordered this video equipment trolley in March. We're now in the month of August, 2020. So I've been able to use this case for about five months and it has been through everything with me. Adding equipment to it, getting transported in the car, going to numerous and numerous businesses, unloading, reloading, up and down the steps, bringing it back home, my kids stepping on it, <laughs> playing with it. It has been through the trenches, okay? And in this video, I wanted to give an honest opinion of what I thought about it. And when I was in the market, looking for the perfect solution. There wasn't really no videos on this product and I wanted to change that. Like I said, I wanna give you guys a full demonstration. So let's go ahead and see actually what comes in it and how much you can actually pack in this bad boy. Let's go. Excuse the mess, I got a toddler. I got a four year old, so check it out. So this is the case that you will receive at your doorstep right here. Very, got a good hard shell in the back, uh, all around it. Got a good hard shell all around it. Has a big pouch right here. Usually I put my extension cable in here. I always keep an extension cable. As I mentioned earlier, you know, my Velcro, it's kind of, it's kind of shady now. It doesn't always stick all the time. And it also has room so you can put like your business card or however you, whatever you want to put there. These are the wheels. My wheels, as you can see, I've been getting a lot of play with it. I've been, I've been out here, I've been doing my thing. When you get it, you're gonna get, you're gonna open it up. And as you can see right now, it's divided into those two sectors. You're gonna get some extra padding, which I don't use, and you're gonna get like a, a top protector thing that goes up top, but my thing be so flooded, I don't use that either, okay? You have two pouches up here. I keep, I keep miscellaneous stuff like a cell phone, tripod holder, some L wrenches, a very rare Sharpie. So the way I've mapped it out, I always gotta start my light stand, this is a must. So I put one light stand on there. Tripod, this is my handy dandy three pod tripod. This is my favorite tripod I've ever used. That goes in there. Like I said, I like to pack my Ronin because sometimes it might pop off. I'd rather be caught with it than without it. Shouts out to Stack Bundles, rest in peace. So I break it down, break that down. And then as you know, the Ronin, the Ronin S can fit you can make it fit so i got tripod light stand ronin s broken down put a godox i love this light i'll leave all the links in the description for this awesome camera equipment as well recently purchased the slider by newer we can add that there our soft box by photo deox put it up top miscellaneous things. Can't forget the light saw. This is my go-to right here. Now, mention, remember earlier I said my four-year-old, he likes to jump in and act crazy. As you can see, the seams are getting undone and it's like a zipper technology. So the only thing is there's no zipper to zip it back up. So that's been a bummer. It's pretty secure though. 
zips right up and boom it doesn't hold this doesn't hold that good but it's been like five months since i had it and you're all set to go it rolls smooth roll up pull up hop out let's get busy bust down bust down so honestly i couldn't have been happier with this game changer it has alleviated so much stress so many walk back to the car to come back i've been able to have everything in one place i've been able to pack my light my godox light my light stands my tripod i've also been able to collapse my ronin s which goes on the bottom and add new equipment like a slider and put it all in there and honestly when i'm pulling up to different clients I feel so official. Rolling in, hopping out my wrap vehicle, put my camera bag on my back, and I'm rolling through my video equipment, and everything's right there. I don't ever have to worry about, oh, I left something behind, I should have brought this, should have brought that. It's so easy. It's easy and efficient. One thing I will say over the course of a few months is I'm starting to notice some wear and tear on the inside. Now, my four-year-old, he was obviously, he jumps on it sometimes, which that's a whole nother story, but sometimes he was going in and out. So I think that may have altered the situation because there's a little tear on the side. Other than that, it has been able to protect all my camera equipment. It has like a hard shell. I did notice that the Velcro up top where it attaches to, that is becoming less sticky. I would say it has been an absolute game changer going to my clients, going to every video project. So look, check it out. If you're a passionate filmmaker like myself, you have tons of video equipment and you're constantly going to different locations serving your clients, you need this. You need this video equipment trolley. Trust me, it has been such a game changer in saving time, saving multiple trips back to the car, saving myself of always constantly thinking I'm forgetting something. It has been an absolute game changer, just being equipped and ready, everything in one spot. You can purchase that below in the description. If you guys enjoyed this video and if it was helpful, please smash that like button for me right now. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, as well as Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials and filming tips and tricks, please subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video. And as always, don't forget to ignite. See ya.